Hello today YouTube and thanks for watching this video. Uh, today I'm going to be making a small solar box for my bike trailer to take out and about uh, prepping, weekend camping, uh, you know, bike rides, picnics, all that sort of stuff. Um, if you've seen a previous video, I've made a bike trailer a rack for the top of my bike trailer for the solar panel itself. And, and today I'm going to be building the, the actual box itself for the battery and the charge controller. So it's all going to be its independent setup from my other main setup in the house. Uh, it'll have its own charging control, as I said, the own battery, fuse. Uh, I'm debating on whether to put a voltmeter on it with a switch for that, but we'll go and see, you know, space-wise in the box, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, let's get on with that and uh, see how we go. Hi there guys, uh, back again. Um, what I've got here is the box, a 12 volt, 12 amp hour battery, a 10 amp charge controller, three negative wires, three positive wires, one of which is a fuse, fused cable. I have a voltmeter, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna use yet or not. I'm not you know, I'm in an iron on that one. Uh, a switch, if I do decide to use the voltmeter. And I have a USB socket, uh, charge my phone, you know, stuff like that. That's going to stay in the box. And then I have two of these 12 volt serial lighter sockets with their dust covers on and bolts to go with them. Uh, so what I'm planning on doing is whacking all of this into that box. And... Uh, and obviously it's going to be nice and portable and carry around. The box itself is quite quite thick plastic. Uh, it would be a good little box. Uh, also, it's, as you can see there, it's got a little lock. So I can put a padlock or something on it. Um, so what I do is I'll open the box up. Give you a look inside. Like you can see it's a bit of a funny shape. But that's going to help me in when I put these cigarette light sockets in. I'm going to put holes in the top here and here. And then I'm going to bury these in. So they sit on the inside like that, uh, which is going to be quite good because this battery is quite heavy, but it just about fits under there. I'm going to have the uh, got the connections, positive and negative, under this, so they're not going to spark on on the plus and negative of that when it's down here. Uh, it's just about going to fit with these against there. As you can see, by holding it up to the box, there's not a lot of space, but they'll fit in there. Lovely job, man. I'll just pop that back down. It is quite heavy. This charge controller is going to lay in there. So, um, that's going to stop anything from sliding. There's a slight bit of play, but what I can do is just pop a bit of cardboard down the side here to wedge them in, and then. Um, I don't have any at the minute, but at a later date I'm going to get some sticky back Velcro or something. Put some on the back of the battery and then on the bottom of the charge controller. And that should stop everything sliding around. And then it's going to be a nice small small little setup uh, I can use around the house, take camping, and I'll, like I said, in the bike trailer. So, uh, let's get going. So, what I've done here is I've used my tape measure and I've measured across and I've measured sort of from this side of the uh, closed clip there down to the bottom and I don't know if you can just about see probably not no but basically there is a small dot there and the same on the other side which is going to be the rough center of where I'm going to drill my holes so I don't have a drill piece that's the same, um, yeah, that sort of wide. Uh, the closest thing I have is this, which as you can see is a few mil out. So what I'm gonna do, drill the holes with these. I'm gonna get a knife, scrape around the rest so I can make these a nice tight, snug fit. Um, if I did have one that was the same as this, I'd have probably used the next one down anyway, just so I can scrape, scrape it out myself. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but these are gonna be a nice tight fit and uh, make it look a little bit neater and a bit more waterproof, really. There's one. And there's 
the second. Let's carry on. Okay guys, so uh, a little bit of drilling. As you can see, this one's not been done. This one has been done. Uh, it's been bored out and scraped out with the knife. And now, as you can see, nice snug fit. I'm gonna have them that way around. So the uh, bung's open towards the handle. And uh, yeah, it's uh, gonna look pretty snazz. Now to crack on with the other side. Okay, and here we go. Look, both plugs are in the holes. Uh, this is probably going to be full of crap. Yep. And as you can see, if I turn a bit slightly into the light, <laughs> you can see the plugs in there. This box needs a bit of a clean out. I should have done that first. There's one and the other. And they're sitting there quite nicely. Just got to drill the holes and bolt them in. And uh, go to the next stage. There we go, that. there's one, one drilled, one down, one to go. Hold it, line it up in place. Red the bolts on. And the other one's a little bit fiddlier. One behind. No, I've got two. Right in. Yeah, I got it. There we go. And that's the finishing product for the front. Or should I say the top? Okay, let's uh, move on to the entire. Okay, so what I've done now is I've attached my positive and negative cables. You can see positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So you've got your solar in, positive, negative, which are going to be this one here. And you've got the battery, positive and negative, for obviously positive, negative. And then you've got the load coming out, which is going to be our power out, which is going to be obviously the positive with the fuse. You can see it. There you go. I've got to open it all the way. And then obviously the blue for negative. So my browns and my reds are positive, and my all blues are negative. So I'm going to go ahead and slide all this in here and get it all. Get it all rigged up, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, here it all is, it's tucked in the box. Um, you may notice the battery is different. Um, here is the actual battery that I used originally. This one has been sitting on my shelf for a very long time and it is completely and utterly flat. So I've swapped it over um, with one that was in my other solar setup. Um, just to show that obviously the system is working. Um, so, like we said, we've got the battery, the cigarette light socket there, cigarette light socket here, all the wires, and into the charge controller. Uh, if I just pull this out quick, uh, you can see there that the um, load is on, so it's saying that I can have a load, uh, I can get power out, and there's medium charge to this battery. Uh, the other battery had nothing, no load lights, no nothing. So at first I thought I had a problem, but... <laughs> Obviously, a quick check, and nope, the battery was completely flat. So, uh, as you can see, that will tucks in there nice and neatly. I can close that up and carry it around. Looks nice and neat and tidy. And uh, just to prove to you that there's power, I'll plug in this, and obviously the LED light should light up. So, there you go. As you can see, USB lights lighting up. Um, I would show you charging my phone. The unfortunate thing there is I'm actually using my phone to record this video. So this, what I'll probably do is put it in a little bag, tuck it in here, um, because I don't want this rattling around with its uh, metal connections to then rub. Oh, God blimey. To, sorry about that. To like hit any of the positive or negative connections and short the system out. 
blow the fuse or something like that. It's just not worth it. So get a little little bag, a money bag, you know, a food bag. Pop it in, zip it up, throw it in there. And uh, that can go around with me.